हेलो एवरीवन हेलो डॉक्टर जाहिद अंसारी प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस पे कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैंगलोर इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेलीगेशन इवेंट मॉडल इन जावा यूज फॉर जावाज इवेंट हैंडलिंग व्हाट इज डेलीगेशन इवेंट मॉडल द डेलीगेशन इवेंट मॉडल इज यूज बाय जावा टू हैंडल द यूजर इंटरेक्शन विद द जी वाई it describes how your program can respond to the user interaction there are three main players in the delegation event model they are event source event listener or handler and event object what is an event source event source is a gui component that generates the event for example a button or a text area or a window the next event listener or handler the event listener it receives and handles the event it contains the business business logic example displaying the information useful for the user or computing a value and the third is the event object event object is created when a, when an event occurs that is when the user interacts with the gui component the event object it contains all the necessary information about the event that has occurred for example type of the event that has occurred source of the event the event object is represented by an event class it is an instance of an event class for the event delegation delegation event model to work the event listener have to be registered with the event source so a listener should be registered with the source once the listener is registered with the source the listener waits until an event occurs when an event occurs the event object is created by the event source then event object is fired by the event source to the registered listener that is the method of the event listener is called with an event object as a parameter once the event listener receives an event object from the source it extracts the event and it processes the event that has occurred from this diagram the things will be clear okay so we have the event source we have the event listener right for the delegation event model to work the event listener have to be registered with the event source okay so the source registers the listener over here so once the listener is registered with the source now this event listener it starts waiting for any event that is occurring uh, uh, that is initiate getting initiated from the event source when the event occurs the event source it creates the event object and it fires the event object to the event listener by calling a method of the event listener and passing the event object as a parameter okay on receiving the event object the event object handles uh, the, the event listener handles it and it reacts to the event so the event source class it provides the methods for uh, registering the event listener so there is a method called add type listener since there are different kinds of listener for example key listener right to uh, see the events associated with the key or mouse listener or the focus listener component listener action listener <coughs> so accordingly there are methods add mouse listener add key listener okay so they they take the event or corresponding event or object as a parameter <laughs> if a listener is registered with the source and we want to unregister it so for that there are methods remove type listener java provides a number of event classes for example component event the component event class it extends awt event class and a component event is inst instantiated when a component is moved resized made visible or hidden then another event class is input event it extends the component event 
it is the abstract root event class for all the component level input event classes next is action event it extends awt event action event is instantiated when a button is pressed a list item is double clicked or a menu item is selected next is item event item event extends awt event it is instantiated when an item is selected or deselected by the user such as a list or a checkbox key event extends input event it is instantiated when a key is pressed released or typed mouse event extends input event it is instantiated when a mouse button is pressed released or clicked or when a mouse cursor enters or exits a visible part of a con component text event extends awt event it is instantiated when the value of a text field or a text area is changed window event extends component event it is instantiated when a window object is open closed activated deactivated iconified deiconified or when focus is transferred in or out of the window java also provides a number of event listener classes okay for example action listener it receives the action events mouse listener it receives mouse events mouse motion listener it receives mouse mo motion events which includes dragging and moving the mouse window listener uh, window listener class which receives window events mouse listener class it provides a number of methods so some of the methods of the mouse listener class they are discussed over here the method mouse clicked it contains the handler for the event when the mouse is clicked that is mouse is pressed and clicked means pressed and released it also provides the method mouse entered it contains the code for handling the case wherein the mouse enters a component the method mouse exited contains the code for handling the case wherein the mouse exits a component mouse pressed method it invoke it is invoked when the mouse button is pressed on a component and mouse released method is invoked when the mouse button is released on a component similarly mouse listener class mouse motion listener class it provides a number of methods for example mouse dragged and mouse moved the method mouse dragged it contains the code for handling the case wherein the mouse button is pressed on a component and dragged it is called several times as the mouse is dragged and the mouse moved method it contains the code for handling the case wherein the mouse cursor is moved onto the component without the mouse button being pressed called multiple times as the mouse is moved another example is a window listener class provided by java okay so methods of win window listener class are window open it contains the code for handling the case when the window object is opened that is made visible for the first time the method window closing contains the code for handling the case when the user attempts to close the window object from the object system menu the method window closed contains the code for handling the case when the window object was closed after calling dispose on the object window activated method invoked when a window object is the active window and window deactivated method is invoked when the window object is no longer the active window window iconified method is called when a window is minimized and window deiconified de method is called when a window object reverts from a minimum to normal size okay so this finishes our discussion about delegation event model thank you